Hello, I'm Joe Rimmelspach at Ohio State University, um, and I'm in the Department of Plant Pathology. And I just wanted to bring you a little update on a uh, conf confirmed disease that we had just this week. Uh, we mentioned, I think, about two weeks ago, we had fairly warm days and nights, remnants of a hurricane that came up through Ohio. And those conditions spurred a lot of activity with brown patch. And we talked about it being confused with uh, pythiums at that time. Well, also at that time, I think maybe we mentioned that with those warm, humid nights, especially when they're kind of the remnants of hurricanes that come through Ohio, is in the fall is when we normally see gray leaf spot developing on uh, perennial ryegrass. And this week, lo and behold, we got our first confirmed sample of that here from northern Ohio. Uh, these are some ex examples of it. Um, the, the, it's a very devastating disease. It doesn't just cause little flecking or spots on leaves, but it actually kills ryegrass plants and uh, requires reseeding or reestablishment. So in this case, um, the, the uh, individual that managed the turf area suspected it because he noted that um, the ryegrass was going out, um, the poanias still looked fairly decent or very good, and uh, the samples, uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but they're very wet. Oftentimes when you first see this problem, your first uh, inclination is that it's drought stress, that it's just brown and collapsing from wilt and dry conditions. But if you examine the soil, you'll notice that they're usually they're quite wet or completely adequate soil moisture. So we confirm this. Um, I suspect that um, it may have been active during the time when we had uh, ex excessive, excessive brown patch earlier, about two weeks ago. And just now, we're getting complete collapse of the ryegrass and death. Uh, what do you do about it? Um, ideally, the thing would be is to just eliminate the ryegrass. If you could switch uh, to a different non-susceptible grass, such as bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, um, uh, bent grass if you're on a golf course, et cetera, you'll, you'll avoid this problem. If you need to put ryegrass back in, make sure you select one of the uh, more resistant uh, cultivars or, or varieties of the new resistant uh, perennial ryegrasses. This does not mean they're immune, it just means that they're less likely to get the problem. Um, also, you want to remember uh, with working with seedlings that there can be a lot of seedling diseases that will come in and, and damage the turf, the new seedlings, um, especially if we uh, re-experience warm, warm conditions. So keep that in mind and take appropriate action to protect those plants if need be. So good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to send samples to us, and we'll be happy to help you in any way.